Antje Stölzel Tiet has run Goslar's Stuben Gallery for five years. My name is Antje Stölzel Tiet. I'd like to welcome you to my little gallery. I'm standing here in the midst of our 250th exhibition featuring paintings by Volker Rasch. But that isn't all that's shown here. In alternating exhibits, we show a cross-section of top-level famous artists. We show classics as well as young rising stars on the arts horizon. The Stuben Gallery is situated in a historic timbered house and, as its name implies, is divided into numerous rooms or Stuben. Antje's mother, Gudrun Tiet, founded the gallery nearly 40 years ago. It's become an insider tip for art lovers and for artists. Many of the artists have signed the gallery's back wall. But how does a little gallery attract notable artists like Ben Willekens or Markus Lüppertz? That's been very easy for me, thank heavens. And I have to pay my mother a huge compliment. She established an excellent gallery in the years before I took over. So now, if I want to show a famous artist, it just takes one call. The Stuben Gallery is a great tip for Goslar. And here are three more must-see recommendations from Antje Stolzel Tiet for visitors to the medieval city. This is a nice bronze model of the city, but it's covered in snow right now. I love Goslar's diversity. In winter it's grey and white and very plain, while in summer it's green and lots of flowers and bubbling water, and its history is everywhere. Goslar transports its visitors back to a different time. For example, many houses still have slate roofs, a material that has been used here since the 13th century. Antje Stolzel Tiet's first tip leads us to the north tower of Goslar's Marktkirche. The church tower was reopened eight years ago. The citizens of Goslar funded the renovation, sponsoring every one of the tower's steps. All 232 of them. On top of the 66-metre-high tower, visitors are rewarded with this view of the city. From the tower, you have a wonderful view of Goslar. In winter, it's a bit chilly, but you can see out over the sea of houses, the snow-covered roofs and the many old buildings. You also get a great view of the Rammelsberg, which played such an important role in the city's development. Up until 60 years ago, tower guards worked here as fire watchmen. Today, it's simply fun to enjoy the dazzling view. Back on terra firma, it's on to the Kaiserpfalz, the old imperial palace, our host's second Goslar tip. Behind the palace, we discover the Goslar warrior by the famous sculptor Henry Moore. Here we have a fallen warrior. It's a critical work. A vulnerable warrior whose shield is rolling away. But it's not just a beautiful spot for art aficionados. Behind the palace, it's quieter. All the tourists pour in the front. But in back, you can take time to experience the sculpture and get a different view of the palace. The artist chose the location himself in 1975. Our third recommendation takes us to the Wortmühle, a rustic little tavern in an old mill house. The Wortmühle serves only regional fare. The tavern is particularly renowned for its game dishes. We love to take our artists and guests to the Wortmühle because of the delicious specialties from the Harz region, like wild boar bratwurst and the famous Harz cheese. The cheese is served with goose fat and bacon 
and is served on a slate platter. No matter when you visit, you can always sample the Wartmüller's specialities, including the Hartz cheese. The restaurant is open seven days a week.